Hi there, welcome to another episode of my cave building channel. <laughs> okay, today we'll be taking a closer look at the long awaited super tool that will hopefully relieve us from the manual labor involved in working with cob. It's finally been legalized in one of the states, not surprisingly Idaho, home of the spud gun. Here it is, the cob steroid stud gun. First I thought all that media attention is way over the top, but I have to admit, after shooting a few rounds with this thing, I am definitely convinced. Would I recommend it? Yes, definitely. I would recommend using this on Tuesday, Wednesday and all other days of the week. So let's go through some of the features of this absolutely amazing tool. If you want to start renovating an old shed like I did and you want to turn it into a man cave, this is what it can do. The first thing you're gonna wanna do is get rid of the outside layer of your shed. Turn your gun setting to wood blast. Okay, let's try it out. If this doesn't work, as you can see, turn your intensity level to level three. One, two, three. Well, so far so good. The blast has uh, removed all the wood. Nice. <laughs> if you're not convinced yet, turn the lever to suck up. <coughs> right, this is wire mesh. Aim and shoot. Now the wire mesh is safely stored inside a special compartment inside your gun. Remove any excess wood from your wall. Set your lever to fire wire or wire fire. <laughs> okay, let's shoot. Well, my friends, this is a good start. But the question is, will it work with cob? Is this the cob revolution that we've been waiting for for thousands of years? Will the cob steroid stud gun live up to its reputation? The answer is yes, of course, yes! <laughs> Uh, the technique I'm using here is the Man Cave 2.0 technique where you can create thin cob walls. We're going to suck up ingredients. Sand. Clay. Straw. and water. Okay, everything has been collected. Aim and shoot. this gun would deliver absolutely amazing the cob steroid stud gun unbelievable we'll let this dry for about a week and then we'll come back the cob steroid stud gun for studs only Okay, it's 
it's now three weeks later and it's drying awfully slow look at that but i uh, contacted the guys from man cave 2.0 and they told me to remove the inside of the wall which is just a thin piece of wood here Come on, take out this shotgun! Okay. Mancave 2.0, how can I help you? Yes, take out the inside of the wall! Watch out! If you remove that, look at that wall, how nice that looks, how smooth and straight, that is incredible. So this will speed up the drying process and uh, hopefully next week we can start uh, shooting some plaster with our plaster blaster setting. Okay, here we are one week later. And the guys from Man Cave 2.0, of course, they were right. It is dry as a bone. <laughs> Unbelievable. It's a bit rough, so uh, we're going to add a plaster to it. Now, if you use a plaster blaster setting, uh, you have to wait for uh, some changes to occur inside the gun. Let me try this. Okay, what just happened is uh, the straw is removed from the mixture and more sand is added to it because the previous mixture is not suitable for a plaster. Plaster has more sand to it. So, okay, we're ready to blast some plaster. Oh dear. Okay, here we go. Yes, it actually works. Fantastic. What a beautiful plaster look at the fine structure of this plaster it's nice and smooth so now you understand why we love this gun and remember a man needs to have his tools you know what I mean <laughs> Every so often you will need to recharge your gun. Fortunately, you will find Cobb Stewart stud power stations all over Europe, the United States. This means there's a power station right here. Okay. This is it. These old chaps deliver a power surge of 10,000 volts, so be careful with them. Okay, set your gun to charge. And hold it about three feet from the power station. Okay, and that's how easy it is to charge your gun at the Cobb Stuart Stud Gun Power Station. This is one piece of advice, do not do this during a lightning storm. I will show you why. Oh, <laughs> ho,
Okay, the final uh, plaster that this gun delivers is one that is mixed with manure. Now, to find manure, you need cows. Set your gun to cow dung collector. Listen to this. Isn't that sweet? Find yourself some fresh cow dung. Feels fresh, of course. Okay, I found a nice and fresh one right here. Let's collect this one. Now we've uh, collected the cow dung and uh, this will uh, create our final plaster which, <laughs> which will protect your wall from the rain. Thanks to these ladies right here. Thanks girls. The plutonium in your gun may have some strange side effects on the cows but don't worry about it, that's perfectly normal. And uh, we'll do our shooting uh, tomorrow, right? Well, now the cow dung is collected, we can shoot our final plaster on this fantastic wall. You're probably expecting another sound effect. Okay, you can have it. Now, if you're looking for the setting on your gun to uh, blast the final plaster, you're looking for the cow dung slingshot plaster blaster. Okay. Let's shoot away. And the gun delivers again the final layer. Look at how smooth that is. It's a mixture of cob and manure. And this seals off your wall. Now this gun is very accurate and this accuracy is caused by the plutonium in your gun. This means that you have a weapon of mass construction in your hands and that you have to build a fairly large bunker in your backyard to store your gun. <laughs> Have you in fact got any cheese here at all? Fortunately, you can build your bunker using the gun. Isn't that cool? Before we continue, we're going to check out what the critics say about this gun. The manual is rather thick. It's enormous and it doesn't have any pictures as well. It comes with a book, Chemistry of Nuclear Power. Well, they added this book because it is a weapon of mass construction, of so that's logical. But nobody reads this, so they've added a small, tiny manual. Well, one more thing. Uh, some say that the unboxing video was kind of really? long. Well, how long was it? Well, it was long. It was two hours. Two hours? <laughs> I know. Oh, goodness. Two hours? Oh, man. Yes, from now on we're using the cop steroid stud gun. Well, thank you very much. Yeah, yeah. Our critics yeah, yeah. slow and mo. You're welcome. Yeah, you're welcome. They're still there. Yeah, yeah. there we are. <laughs> In the meantime, yeah, we're still here. you can see that our wall is dry. Oh wait, let's not forget this one. <coughs> this is our final layer, so I hope by now you are convinced of the capabilities of this gun. <laughs> Now of course this gun 
gets five stars out of five, but to be honest with you, when working on a man cave, I prefer working with my hands. For example, I just chewed down this bush right here with my bare teeth. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> I use these, yeah. But still, I prefer working with my hands, so I'm going to hand over the gun to our critics, Slow and Mo. I'm sure they won't mind. Listen, as a man you understand the importance of this review. This is not just a review on a fantastic, superb and revolutionary gun. No, it goes much further than that. The real revolution is taking place all around the world. It is the inevitable reaction to the situation we are facing today. Like I told you in Man Cave 2.0, our world is dominated by women. And that's just fine, but we need a drastic solution. It's time for us men to wake up and take a stand and man up to the fact that every man needs a place of his own. From here to the far ends of the world, men are building man caves whenever and wherever they can, using guns, tools or just their bare hands. Walls of cob are rising up, conveying the message that can no longer be ignored. Every man needs a man cave. <laughs> This concludes our review of the uh, the Cobb steroid stud gun. Order yours at cobshop.com or go to your local hardware store. Yep. We hope you enjoyed this review and uh, we'll catch you later. And remember, every man needs a man cave. If you can't find one, you build one. Yeah, and you don't necessarily need to do this with your bare hands anymore. Yep. Yes, from now on we're using the Cobb steroid stud gun and I'm using it first. No, I'm using it first. Have you in fact got any cheese here at all? Hi there, welcome to another episode of my cave building channel.